You're listening to Electrician Live with your host, Paul Abernathy and Jay Brunberg. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Electrician Live. My name is Paul Abernathy, one of your hosts, and with me, my co-host is Jay Grunberg. Jay, welcome to the show. Hey, Happy New Year. Look at that. We even got, we got applause coming in, All right? So anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Today's episode, again, New Year's has come. Um, everybody has... Uh, I guess they got everything they wanted for Christmas. Uh, They got everything. Again, I'll explain it. I'm glad that all that's over with. I don't, what is that supposed to be? (laughs) We're looking in the future, Jay. We're looking for 2021. We're looking forward. Okay. So my imaginary glass ball right here. Right there. You you, you know what you got. You're going to look at it and see. So all of us have to think about what? Our New Year's resolutions, things that are going to take place in the new year, uh, and uh, all of that type of stuff. So, again, uh, talk a little bit. So, so tell everybody a little bit about how your uh, how the holiday went. And I guess we did this, we did yeah. a show, and again, this is since the holiday. Okay. Yeah. How, we had did, a how did everything good, go? We had a really good show in in the year, and um, today. Actually, I went out to a buddy of mine's house. I was telling you about this. He has uh, 40 acres out there, and he invited us out, um, myself and my best friend Chris and his family. And so we got to hang out and shoot a little bit already, shoot our, our firearms that we have. And then he has a, an ATV and a dirt bike. Um, so we just we went out and just had a blast today. So good day to start the new year off right. Um, now, the bad thing is, is, in the next few days, I got to start taking down all these darn Christmas lights I put up. <laughs> That's right. So again, you put everything up, and then you got to rip it all down. Hey, Ronbo, Ronbo's in the house. Ronbo, Ronbo, up, man? thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming to the show. Looks As like always, Ronbo probably uh, probably made some OT this uh, this winter or something because he's starting the New, Year off, New Year's off with the first donation. Already? 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 Wow. So. Thank, Thank you, Ronbo. Ron Love how spend that extra cash. Appreciate it. Definitely will appreciate. Goes towards the podcast. That's the that's my most expensive platform right now is the podcast. Okay. Lots of OT, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um it used to be that they when I was one of the first that did it for them, they gave me uh for free originally. And then that seemed to expire. And all of a sudden it's kind of a all of a sudden the cost went crazy for podcasts. So Maybe looking at new platforms, but not in 2021. It's still okay, and I like it, so we're going to go with it so far. That type well, yeah, I think so, with, with the whole COVID thing, I, I want to say the podcast, I don't know if it doubled, or maybe it doubled with people, because, again, they're sitting at home. They have nothing better to do, so they're starting up YouTube channels and mm-hmm. and whatnot. So, Nick, Nick, what's happening? Ron, Nick, another what's up? Five. I there got go. five on it. <laughs> Let me go, hold on. With that's... that dope. Yeah. All right, so the phone number is on the screen. Jay, I told Jay I'd get it up there for everybody. 214-945-0653. The call lines are open if if I see it. Um the reason I say that is because we had a caller last week and I didn't see it. So I apologize. And that was when we were doing starting your business and I thought we had some great tips, uh, Jay, on, you know, what to do with starting your business. Of course, you can't cover everything in an hour, but again, there's just so many things you could cover. So I thought we gave some really good tidbits. So for everybody who's out there over on the Electrician Live website, rebroadcasts are available for you to watch at any time. Go check them out. Uh, the new look of the website over on Electrician Live now allows you to see all previous episodes. So we're not going to be removing the dates we're just going to make sure that the episodes are live so you can actually see them as you go. So uh, other changes will take place to Electrician Live um, as we move forward um, in 2021, of course. And I've got some lineups uh, for some guests. We haven't talked about it yet, Jay, but I will bring them to you. If I kind of 
work it through a little bit. Um, it's kind of like one of the guests, it's kind of like one of those um, home advisor things, but I think I, I got them scared because I was, again, not really in favor of it. And I think they sensed that and they were afraid that on the show I might say something and get them, you know, get them all messed up or something. Me, would I do something like that? Yeah, probably. Well, I'll oh. tell you what, if, if you wouldn't do it with Home Advisor, I sure would. Because I've, <laughs> I've, I've had the run in with those guys, man. And it's crazy because as, as mean as I was, or as mean as I've been to many different home events, because it's never the same one that calls you. No. It's always a different voice with a different number. And they've got projects like, in your area, right? Well, I yeah. always say that. Oh, we've got tons of projects in your area well, that they don't all, tell you. Well, first they ask you, what do you do? What what kind of service do you do? Oh, I do residential. Oh, great, because we got, you know, and it doesn't matter what you could say. You could say, hey, I, I pick up dogs, whatever, for a living. Oh, we got that too. Oh, come on, home advisor. Yeah, I know. And then the other worst part about it is it's like with a lot of them, people don't realize that you're not the only one bidding on a job, yet they still get paid their piece anyway. So I mean, you might not get the job. So again, it's just a lot of things. Read the fine print. Now, if you're just starting out, there's other ways to do it. Go watch last week's episode. There's a lot of good tips in there about low cost marketing that will get your business going. Really well. Um, we got a bunch of people in. You know, Nick in and uh, our Gonza 787 uh, is in. And uh, thanks for joining us. So hopefully everybody out there sharing Electrician Live on other platforms. There's so many social media. I just looked today, uh, Jay, over on Facebook alone. Oh, for all of you that are not aware, we and you're studying for an exam, um, we have a Facebook page free that you can go to. And it is master the NEC exam prep. So if you're really studying for an exam and you want to have other people to bounce questions off of and get feedback from other people that are preparing for an exam, go do it over on that platform. It's a great platform to put your questions and you never know. I might even answer your question. I've been known to answer questions in there for people. Again, that's, uh, again, I'm also known to, po I'm also known Jay to post disgruntled mean images in there about box field calculations and whether or not you count pigtails. Oh my God. That was, if we got time, Jay, I want to tell that story. Okay. Even if it's just a small piece of it, I got to tell you a story of the, the history behind for you that follow us on the Facebook page. There is a reason why I posted that NFPA handbook picture of box field calculation. And I will explain to you when a student just doesn't get it. And they prefer to argue with an instructor than it is to learn. So I might yeah. go into that. Maybe, Jay, if we got time, I'll go into that. Okay? So at any rate, Elwood, thanks for coming in. I see you. Ron Bo, you had a question, but I did. You'll contact me. Cool. Reach out to me, my brother. Uh, hello, George. Thanks for coming. Um, well, George, um, my mom passed away on uh, uh, December 5th, so uh, obviously not doing very well, but again, I felt her with me during the holidays, so, but thank you for asking. Again, I appreciate it, but she, uh, ironically enough, right after I did my seminar on electrical calculations, I went upstairs, and a couple hours later, she passed, so, uh, but she's with my dad now, and uh, everything, you know, it's, it's taken a little while, but uh uh, you know, it's God's will and it, it is what it is. Um, so, but thank you for asking. Oh, damn. Thank you, George. I appreciate it. Um, so anyway, I might get into that story about where students go wrong. Um, hey, Jay, did you see the first kind of pre episode of electrical blunders? It was my I... short version of, of a gentleman doing his own wiring to his shed using a garden hose. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can't make that crap up, right? And you have people to say, oh, what's the problem? It's protected by an overcurrent device. First of all, we don't know that because I right, can't see right. it. I don't even know if that's on GFCI because of the age of the mobile home. The sheer fact of the matter is he's cutting extension cords off and he's trying to get it through a garden hose. It's just, 
Uh, now, what I do promise is that we have an episode of Electrical Blunders that it's airing on January 9th. The 9th, it's already in the can. It's ready to go. It is a little bit of a long one, so of an hour. Um, and it's not that bad of an install, again, so I can show people I'm not out there just to bash people's installs. I'm, I'm here to add commentary and extra insight. And so that's what we do on that episode. So, again, it's not going to be totally ripping people. It's, that's not what it's okay. about. This one was just... An interesting one because one it wasn't long and two i was like really you tried to push twine through a garden hose really and but <laughs> but but he said his pastor said it was okay yeah okay <laughs> oh, anyway so you, anyway you know what's crazy is people go out and they'll they'll watch that video they'll pull it up and they'll watch it and they'll try it. to mimic that same installation because they go oh this guy you know he uh if he can do seems it. like he knows what he's doing or yeah if he can do it, I can do it. But uh, are you doing it to the code? Are you doing it to the standard? So don't. You know, and somebody gets hurt, he's going to be the one to blame. And, oh, yeah. And at the end of the day, I don't want other people watching videos thinking that that's okay. It's not. Yeah. So most of my electrical blunders is going to be targeting DIYers and people like that. It's not really focused on electrical people, you know, in general. It's um, I see a lot of things that happen from electricians who use terminology is it wrong, and we all do. Um, we get in the heat of the moment, and we use something we might call a receptacle and outlet. When we know it's a receptacle, it's a device, not an outlet. But we all know what we're talking about. We might even say subby, bruh, knowing that it's a remote distribution panel, right? You know what I'm saying? I install those subby breaths all the time, baby. All yeah. the time. What we is, know uh, what it is, so no big deal. But when I have hairy homeowners or DIYers or people like that who are doing videos and then other people are learning from it, especially when I see them have, what, a million views, and I'm thinking, really? Yeah. Really? So anyway, enough of that. So hopefully all of you are, are excited about the electrical blunders. We're going to have a bunch of them in uh, 2021. It's going to be cool. Um, God, that, tell you what, Jay, I got a lot of things on my board and we're going to talk about some of my goals for 2021. And you're going to talk about some of your goals because folks, that's what tonight's show is about. It's not just new year's resolutions, which is kind of saying that you're taking something that you don't want to do in your new year. Like, um, like, okay, I'm going to new year's resolution. I'm going to stop doing this, stop doing that. So I got to thinking about that, Jay. <laughs> and I got to, I got to thinking, um, it's not just about New Year's resolutions, right? Okay. What is this? Rombo. I think Rombo what? donated another five. I think he liked my, my last song I sung. Rombo, I like it. I like the five. He keeps donating the fives. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Rombo, we're going to retire if you keep donating. No. That's right. What is this? That's right. <laughs> Los three, oh. you're good. We d I can. I yeah, am so sorry. It's, it's Los. It's just Los. So he, he said Lose? thanks for res yeah. It's Los. Thanks for responding to his uh dwelling calc uh, calculation uh question he had and oh, apparently okay. he's gonna YouTube channel be doing his Texas journeyman. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Cool. Yeah, Texas. Yeah. I'm telling you what, Los three. There you go. Texas is a pretty tough exam. Don't let it fool you. It's two part test. Okay, you got to know the calculation look up and I mean you got to know the lookups and then yeah. you got no calculation. So you can't skate by. On some tests you can basically take one test and there's only a few calculations in there, right? So you just ignore them or skip them or even if you guess at them you might get a percentage right and then you move on. So again, um, so that type of thing. Um, yes, Nick noticed that I started some 70E podcasts today. Uh, there are videos associated with that, but the videos are only going to be available to those that are subscribers on the YouTube channel uh, at the medium level, which is the electrician live exam prep level uh, and higher. Like Jay is an ex extreme member, um, but right that level because uh, we have a bunch of videos. Now, that doesn't mean that we had a question that came in. Are we going to stop doing the 2020 NEC analysis videos? No, that's still available to the 2020 series, folks. That's the $4.99 a month. It's still available. Still going to be there. We're still working on that. Uh, you'll get different episodes, and I might even sprinkle in some of, the, some of the new stuff. But that is what that's about, to get some of the other exclusive. It's kind of like I like to say, you got Hulu, and you got Hulu Plus. 
So right. the plus yep. is going to be the Electrician's Academy, that series where we did the basement and, I mean, the bedroom and the bathroom, where you're going to see a series on the kitchens. And I talk about everything involved in a kitchen, uh, living rooms, dining room. We're going to cover everything in that. I'm going to be busy, Jay. Oh, I know it. I know and, it. And if, if I got to pick one between Hulu or Hulu Plus, I can't stand watching the commercials. So anything to, oh, yes. so to make it no where I don't have to watch You're commercials, right. give me the Hulu Plus. Give me the top shelf. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, so for those that subscribe <laughs> to that level, mid-level and higher, over on our um, the YouTube stream, or the YouTube channel, you're not going to get commercials. So that's the benefit. Um, obviously, the commercials help pay the bills. But when we move it over to that platform, your subscription helps pay the bills. Exactly. We're so there you go. We can get rid of the commercials. It looks so, like uh, looks like George is going to study for his master's test in 2022. So that's probably – George, I hope you're out there studying now. Um, there you go. I hope you keep up with it. That's a good goal. And then Rombo, calculations are my worst areas. Whose isn't? Yeah, Rombo. I mean, calculations, calculations I could probably say that I, I get the most questions. And, again, if you ask Jay, you're, you're just uh, – Rombo, you're going to get started in that, that Fast Tracks program. Look, when you get to Unit 8, Unit 11, Unit 13, you're going to go – because the calculations, I'm not giving you A, B, C, and D choices here. You have to work it out just like you would in real life, okay? Yep. So, again, there's a lot. Hey, Joe's in here. Joe, our CMECP. Joe, I promise you the CMECP stuff is, is coming out. I'm just trying to get caught up. I promise you. Um, but uh, he's, in this, he's, he's, he's in the paid series, and he's watching yes. the 680 videos, part one and part two today. Yes, those are the ones that I did with Vince Delacroach, okay? A great guy from down in Florida. He sits with me on Code Panel 17. He's a great guy. Okay. Now, again, my teaching style is to be very repetitive. And I get people that complain about that. Believe it or not, Jay, you believe that? People will say, mm. Paul, you repeat things. I do it for a reason. It's my teaching style. I always tell people that don't like it, guess what they can do? You don't have to watch it. Okay, I know that sounds arrogant, doesn't it, Jay? But it, but it's, it's truth. I am what I, what you see is what you get. Okay, um, I decided a couple years ago to get rid of the tie and be more like how I teach. Now, when I teach on a bigger scale, I'm usually in a suit and tie. But then when I get to teaching, I rip that tie off, I take the coat off, and I and I roll up the sleeves, and I'm look, I'm an electrician, right? I that's what I am. I'm, I'm just an electrician like everybody else. And I love that aspect of teaching. Okay. Am I the best? Absolutely not. But uh, I like how I do it. And I, it's been pretty successful for me. Um, as much all the crap that's happened in 2020, because we're going to talk about goals. Much has happened to me in 2020. It's been a miraculous year for Electrical Code Academy. Personally, it's been a crap year. For the company, amazing. We grew as a company. 300 percent 300 percent jay in 2020 so we have uh, some of the and i attribute that to the courses and the value that we give and the training and all this type of thing so uh again i thank everybody else out there for supporting us Ooh. on all these different platforms definitely look at definitely. nick nick starting the year new year's off with 20 dollar donation dude i can't see My these donations goodness. i'm not monitoring that I can't Nick, see that. That's you, amazing. Sir. Thank y'all. Definitely. Thanks, uh, so most people know those donations actually go to help subsidize the podcast fees that I have to pay monthly. Uh, oh, and my goodness. Those, those are where majority of it goes because, again, that service is not free for me. So I appreciate Joe that. Just, Joe just threw a 20 in the pot, too. All right, y'all. Now, y'all 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 keep uh, – you don't have to Fifth do all five. that now, folks. Okay? Woo! Uh, Look, Rondo says we grew because he joined. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, <right? laughs> I, yeah, gross proceeds have to be a large amount thanks to Rondo. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Um, do I hear 100? So, do I hear 100? Yeah, but I'm going to give it a 5. 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 So, so. All right. So, let's get into the topic, man. Okay. Topic tonight. I'm going to have people that give me thumbs down because they say, what the crap? You're not talking about anything. We've had that before, Jay. Oh, what do you, you, know, what do you want to talk about? 
You're not teaching me anything. Hell with you. Sorry. That's not what Electrician Live is always about, right? So, anyway. All right, Jake. Talk to me. Tell me some right. of, maybe we should not call it, maybe we should not call it New Year's resolutions. And right. I don't know, what, again, what's happening to my stream. Sorry about that, folks, that the chat stream is dropping out on me on the screen. For those that are watching the video and will be watching video, uh, you're going to have to pay attention to your chat thing because sometimes the screen doesn't, doesn't work for me. So I apologize. All right. So, Jay, tell us a little bit. Uh, George wants to know about the inspector test. Hey, George, I have, have ICC certifications, E1, E2, and E3. I didn't renew them, but I, um, I've had them. I've tested them all, um, and I can tell you this much. Learn the NEC. There's nothing to those exams. They're basically the same as taking your electrician's exam. In fact, in many ways, the E1s, E2s, and E3s are probably easier because they usually don't have as many calculations in them because they're inspector-based exams. So, again, study the NEC. Learn the NEC. You're not going to have any problem with those. The only other advice I would give you is pay a little attention to reading an, uh, a blueprint, making sure that you can identify. And when people ask me all the time about blueprint reading, I haven't done a real course on it. I probably should, Jay, because I have obviously blueprints that I could use. But I always tell people it's not brain surgery because by the time you're ready to sit for an exam, you should have enough hours in so you should have some on-the-job training, so you should know how to read blueprints, okay? That is something that's hard to replicate. In other words, you should be able to know where to go to a panel schedule, a lighting schedule. You ought to be able to look at a one-line diagram and understand it. Uh, you ought to be able to look at disconnects and determine frame ratings versus the overcurrent protection in it. You ought to be able to look at conductor sizing on a blueprint. You ought to be able to see where the um, circuit starts and where it ends and what it's supplying and how it's laid out on drawing. So it's hard for me to really get Jay motivated in teaching blueprint when it should be pretty straightforward. I would think be used to seeing what two hour rated walls look like on a blueprint. Uh, be used to seeing what's uh, two hour separation walls look like. Um, yeah. Just things like that. You should, you know, get a hold of a set of drawings and look at it that way. Yeah, I think with blueprints, you you go with uh, don't try to go all in, all in one. Just take it section by section, piece by piece. I mean, you Look took the E1, you're... didn't you? Say that again. You took the E1, didn't you? Oh, for you... the inspector? Oh, yeah. So I took the E1 last year. So I, tell, I tell, tell George track. a little bit about it. Well, I did your Fast Tracks program on the 2017 one. That's how you and I um, first started. And, and yep. we were in Code Strong. Code Strong. Got a sticker um, for that. So we got were Coach we, Strong we sticker. Actually, I got came Coach in, Strong I on the tail end of it because Brian and Tim and a few other guys were were. Uh, yeah, you were in that same ahead of me. You were in that same some kind of semester area quarter that they were in. Yeah. You know they say they they say save the best for last, and that's what happened. You know you saved that one spot for me, and I came in. And, uh, all joking aside, he is my co-host, so. <laughs> Meant so I, I went ahead and took the IEC um, or the IC, IEC, IEC is a schooling, ICC um, inspection E1 course. And then this year I will, once I finish my residential uh, program out of the bundle package that I purchased, I'll go into the commercial. And when I feel competent, probably about halfway through and I'm maybe took in, taking a couple of the tests because you always put, you have, and I can't tell you, you have hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of questions for these 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 exam prep test questions to get you ready in each unit. So what mm -hmm. I'll do is is I'll go through those commercial ones and make sure that my brain is clicking on all cylinders. And once once I'm ready, I literally I, I sign up, I, I log into my ICC, I set a date, and I'll probably do it that night that I feel ready. That's what I did with my E1. I, I go, oh man, I, I told my wife, I said, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, babe. I, I think I got this. She said, yeah, we'll see if you can set up, you know, because the whole COVID thing. I went on. I set up. I, I kid you not. I set up for that night, and I took it. Right. So. There you go. And you used the Fast Track. So, again, George, uh, I don't know if you're in the Fast Tracks program or not, but that's what he used. But study the NEC, and you shouldn't have no problems with those exams at all. At all. Okay. 
Um, so again, so let's talk a little bit about tonight's topic. Um, New Year's resolutions as well as 2021 goals. I'll give mine. I got a couple. I got well, actually I have eight here. Um, but Jay, go oh, on wow. and go over some of your your your. Um, I don't have any New Year's. I got the one New Year's resolution that I'll say before we get started. I am going to not try to be so knee jerky when I read somebody's crappy comment on a post, on a video or something like that, because I know that they don't have the gojonas to do their own video or to come out of their shell to teach other people. So it's so easy to criticize other people, right? So I'm going to try to be a little bit nicer and gentler with those responses, Jay. That's 2021. I'm going to, I'm going to leave that in the past and be a little nicer and nice, nicer and gentler in 2021. I'm going to be the, the teddy bear of the code world. So are that? these are these so you're not hold, are you saying you're not holding grudges from <laughs> I'd the say past, that or are you <laughs> or are you I saying say going that, on buddy. forward <laughs> I didn't say I ain't holding grudges I'm just saying um anyway no nah, it's life's too short to hold see grudges you, Ron, see, see you Ron buddy. thanks for coming thanks for the donations I, I appreciate you brother give me a call give me a call and and, and we'll talk um say what is it Nick says tester on Paul doesn't know uh -oh. what he is talking about when it comes to grounding and bonding. <laughs> Nick, uh, you know what? I do have the ability to block you, Nick. I'm just saying. Uh -oh, Nick. I'm not going to do it, but yeah. I have the ability to block you, okay? You know, Caleb, oh, I don't see much of Caleb anymore, and I'm, I'm kind of glad that Nick inserted himself. Did he fill in that, that role no. of Caleb's role? He kind of role? filled in that, that, that role for Caleb, which... <laughs> But there you, you go. You just never know where he's coming from, but gotta gotta keep awesome. Paul gotta keep Paul on track. There, yeah, gotta keep him down. All right, so all right, all right, so, right so, so for, that's for it. Me. So that was a jokingly, you know, I really never hold grudges. But moving forward, let's talk, Jay. Tell me some of your thoughts. Twenty twenty one, man. We're we want to put the twenty twenty crap in the past. <laughs> like Joe yeah. says, I'll never make it to February. You're, you know, Joe, you're 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 right. But go ahead, go ahead, Jay. Uh, Ninety percent of New Year's resolutions actually are failed by February first, so we'll see. That's a that's a good. <laughs> that's I, probably I'll, I'll, Joe Mint right there. Um, All right. So going into the new year, um, this is kind of personal and business because we run our shop out of our our house. So um, <laughs> what we have is is the back of our house. We have a pretty big um area to expand so what we're going to do is we're going to do an addition we're going to do about a 500 square foot sweet addition on the back of our house yep and so half of it will be um like a 13 by 15 um office um to so you're expanding the wired up electric design llc you're you're going to physically physically in 2021 expand the company that's a beautiful thing yeah i am <laughs> hey i'm laughing at you and and as much as as much as we expanded, sorry, out look, the field, Joe, I didn't even make it past January. Yeah, he didn't even make second it. before I'm teasing him. All right, sorry. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, hold on. No, actually, that's that's awesome. I love to see you do a great job, and you know, and the guys like working for you, uh, especially those that get their credit hours. And Wired Up Electrical Design LLC is expanding. And that's a beautiful thing. Now, I know that this is probably more to do with the wife's efforts than yours, but see, I can't help myself, Joe. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Sorry about that, Jay. All right. So, all right. So, so we're going to expand the, the business. That's, that's the, the biggie. That's the first first goal. And we're already in pro process of getting bids. And um, we've, I told you recently we did soil tests because the area required it. Yeah. Centennial uh, requires oh, soil tests. Guess who's here? Oh. Not Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh, man. Caleb, what so is you, happening? You, Nick, you, you have competition for, uh, uh, for the comedian of the group between uh, uh, not Bill like Cosby a, 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 a K A Caleb and Nick, right? All okay. right. So, all right. So anyway, so expanding the business, what's next? What else are you going to do? Uh, Nick says, are so, you hiring? So I believe one of your, one of your goals is, is to hire, is it? Well, so 
Yep, yes, but I, I also want to wait until a certain time. So my, my bottom goal, which I say my fifth goal, is to build the addition, and that's happening now. We should be done hopefully by April 19th, which is my birthday. So I'm hoping around middle April, towards the end of April, we'll be done there with the addition, and then we have another side for my mother-in-law. Um and then we're going into I wanna I'm hoping to get two more licensed guys. And this doesn't mean go out and they hire two more licensed guys. Oh that's oh, investing oh. in the company and two more guys should be on track to get their licenses this year. Oh, so that okay. would be a big, big one for the company. Cause that will allow us to hire two more apprentices. So two more licensed guys and two more apprentices for wired up this year. That's our Excellent. goal. Okay. Now, that's a goal. Goals can be exceeded. So you might get so busy you need to hire another full-time electrician. You never know. Nick, give him a holler. See Dude, if y'all come to you. Know, see if, you know. My son's almost getting to the point now where I can... Hey, you can at least send him out to do out trim outs. You know, he can go with, go with somebody and put cover plates on and, and things like that. Definitely. Definitely. So... I remember my son, you? we was helping me early. You know, he didn't want to be an electrician, but he did help me, you know, when I needed extra assistance and things like trim outs and, and things like that. Okay. <laughs> Nick, Nick says he would message you, but you don't reply. <laughs> you don't think I reply He's on my never going to let that see, go, man. You ever. see how I reply on my, on my, uh, on my uh, payroll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just That's right. Joking. All right, so, okay, so that's two. So you gave two, right? Yeah, I, I did. What else? Yep. What else? What's some new, what's some Jay Grunberg's uh, 2021 outlook things, goals? And we'll come okay, back so at the next end of the year, and we'll look back and see if all these goals were achieved, okay? okay. So. Well, those were, those were part of for the business. For mm -hmm. my personal goals, I guess, and it's kind of business related, but I would, I'd like to pay off two of the vehicles I have, two of my business vehicles, pay them off full. Right now I have three. So I'd pay, pay two off and be down to one, and then I'd, I'd go out and purchase another van. Um, okay. So That's again, good. I, you I roll your debt. Vehicles. You rolled your debt back in order to just maintain the debt. So exactly. you had the debt, you roll it back, pay it off, but you want to go back to that debt, but it just means you're adding more, you know, more vehicles to the fleet. Perfect. Add more vehicles. Great goals for 2021. It, it all wraps around one having a healthy business. Okay, healthy. Uh oh, uh oh. Somebody. <laughs> I, I think Jay, either you're multitasking, or we have a visitor. Okay. Yeah. My hands yeah, are okay. here, man. Hands, My are, hands here. are here. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, oh. I do have. I do have one more before we get into yours. Yeah. Um, so I remember last year I was telling the guys, I told them, I said, hey, I will, uh, I'll try to, because you, you'd offered the CMECP program. Absolutely. And I said, I'd do it this year. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep pace with the pace that I wanted to with the bundle package. So instead of doing the fast tracks in the CMECP this year, I'm going to get, I'm going to complete the residential, commercial, Grounding and bonding, industrial this year. So I have four units to complete. Well, four... it's a two-year program, Jay. So it started from the day that you registered. So I don't know when you registered. So you better get busy. I know. Okay. I think it was June. But so I'm, I'm going to get pick busy. Up those four, roll the CMECP and the fast tracks into next year. So I'm going to be busy. Yep, I'm going to be going busy. To college all over again. Yep, fast tracks program uh, is is something in itself. But you're doing the residential. You're going to yeah. go into the commercial. Uh, industrial grounding and bonding, uh, and again, then, then the next year you'll pick up the fast tracks and uh, you'll move out of my base, my garage. <laughs> That's right. I need to move out of that garage. Get out of that garage. Sometimes okay. he thinks I'm in your basement. I'm in the garage. I'm everywhere. I'm the guy on the couch. That's right. The so, guy on the you know couch. That move from Method Man and Red Man. <laughs> mm, I must have missed it. Anywho, right. anywho. All right. So is that is that it? Is that your re resolutions? No, I, I, no I, not I resolutions. More, goals. But... Those are your goals. Okay. So table. some of mine are company related. Personal goals. Uh, for personally, um, I'd like to say Jay that I want to. I will spend more time in 2021 with my family. That's a good goal. 
<laughs> we know that ain't happening. Oh no. <laughs> we know that ain't happening. Oh God. Man. You know, on my tombstone, they're gonna put he always said he wanted more time for family. <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm, I'm in the code. I'm a code, code guy. Code article. Something, something, something. <laughs> something, something, code section. It's That's what's going to be on there. code article that you put in there. <laughs> <laughs> Paul was in the code. I mean it. <laughs> it's no lie. All right. So, all right. So, some of my goals for the company. And we have a voicemail, so that means that I missed the call again, Jay. I don't know what to do with these calls. He Are says, they coming in? Yeah, he said, he says, I'm watching you on YouTube from Jamaica. And yeah, yeah. I'm the, uh, and I'm in the fields just looking at what you, what you do over there uh, that will be a nice wage. Oh, uh, well, probably didn't want to take that call because, again, I... I I really don't get into that topic tonight about wages over here, but again, a nice wage. Good electricians can make uh, anywhere from, depending whether you're union or non-union, they can make anywhere from uh, $22, $23, $24 an hour, uh, some less, uh, depending on where you're at, and some can make as much as uh, $45 and $50 an hour if you're a supervisor or you're a lead guy or whatever. So again, it, it just fluctuates over here. It definitely fluctuates. Definitely fluctuates. And I've got to figure out what i got to do because these calls come in and I'm just not... I um... found the, the best money that I took was when I first became a journeyman. <laughs> poor, poor Century Electric here in, in Colorado. I was working for these guys and I got licensed. And all of a sudden, I seen this post for a, a job out at DIA. And I may have spoken about this job before, but it was doing runway work. And I, I seen the dollar amount that was behind that. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. I could double what I'm making here. And not only double it, go and work 10 to 20 more hours a week out there to get this project done. I was gone, man. My journeyman, I had just passed. And within two weeks, I left that company. The first week, my journeyman, who I was working with, who I was working under before I tested out, he, he handed me a, a Milwaukee drill set. And, and he said, congratulations. I said, man. I think you're going to want to take this back because I'm about to leave. And he goes, no, what do you mean you're about to leave? You just tested and we need you and blah. I said, man, I'm, I'm going where the money's at, bro. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so here, take your Milwaukee. After my first day, I'll go buy six of these. It'll be okay, bro. I won't even be mad. <laughs> so All right, Jay. I went out and you're, you're a moderator of this forum. I need you to TCHK. Oh. I need you to kick him out of this room. Oh, yep. Got him. No, you can kick him out. I'm just playing. We don't fix oh. VCRs here. I think he's being funny. All right. So, oh. huh. all right. I wasn't even so, going to read it. I was just going to kick I said, oh, and, and uh, Caleb says that I still use a rotary phone. No, I'm using this thing, and I, and I get so into it that I can't see the calls. But I have it set up now, so if somebody calls, hey. I think maybe I'll hear it now. I'm not Nick, sure. Nick, if you want to come out to, to Colorado, man, I'll, I'll put your butt to work. Yeah, there you so go. I will. All right, let yes, me look sir. at my some of my New Year's things, okay? All right, so number one, I want to offer more ebooks this year. So many of you have found that 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 starting in January, right on January first, I dropped some ebooks. Um, one is on MC Cable; it's free. Uh, you can download it from our website. Um, and then the other was exam preparation, called Exam Ready. It's basically some things that prepare you for an exam. Again. Exams tend to be the most stressful thing for people to do. Again, it's if you study right, it shouldn't be so stressful because I believe in going in there with confidence. And if you've really worked the fast track. Now, I've got a guy who had a little trouble and he wanted to blame everybody but himself and his grades were like 30%, 40%. You're not going to pass the exam, bro. You're not. And you didn't follow the directions when I told you to retake the courses and, you know, and review the questions. I don't give answers to anybody that gets below a 60%. I've got enough students that if you're in and, and all the, literally the, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students I have, I've only had a handful of these issues where, again, reading it, okay, reading it, okay, and, and it's, again, 
Why do I want to kick you? I'm we're just not, teasing you, we're not gonna kick you, I'm not going to kick you, but I have no damn clue on how to fix a VCR. All right, so, and again, who hey, owns no, a VCR? They're still around. Come on, man. <laughs> I guess they're still around. Go Hulu. Right. Go to Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> Digital. Hulu All right, so I'm going to offer more eBooks here. In, uh, and um, next, I'm going to reboot, Jay. You ready? I'm going to mm-hmm. reboot my Code Chain series. Um, many people that subscribe to that, and they realized that I had an issue where I decided I wanted to pull out of my agreement with King Royal Publishing uh, because I had a, a walkout clause at the 12th month uh, before it got 12 months. And so many people remember I did that back in uh, November. Um, and we were negotiating so I could have 100% exclusive rights to that series because they were going to get the end result for a book and I was going to get the newsletters. Uh, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we tried to work it out and we could not work it out. So there is a loophole in the agreement is that if I retool it and it's not done in the same format, then I can do it all over again so I can reboot that series. So I'm going to look to reboot that. So look for that in an ebook. And that's the way that I'm rebranding it. Okay. So it's going to be an ebook uh, series. <laughs> what is a rotary phone? All right. So anyway, all right. <laughs> Um, next, um, one of my big goals is to grow the Electricians Academy. For those that haven't seen what that is, that is a university-style platform. Uh, it is not cheap, but it is a lot of classroom, at least two every semester, where we have a classroom session that you have to attend, and it could be more than two, and it is a little more intense than your normal program. Okay, so I will be explaining more and more about the Electricians Academy in a little future stuff that I do, uh, but that's a passion of mine uh, for that, okay? Um, the next is in that same flavor again, Jay, my goal this year is to do quite a few more of the Electrician Academy style videos where I literally break down room by room by room by room and offer those, and I've offered, I've done two of those, and they are available now up on the paid membership on the YouTube channel. So people have been asking mm-hmm. about that. There's three different levels over there. There's a, what's up, Kevin? Thanks for joining <laughs> us. See you here. Kevin, you got, that's a bigger goal than what we got, man, to get a PS5. Yes, there you no, go. That's a goal. Let's just want to spend a grand on. You can't find them anywhere. Or one. Yeah, you can't, you can't find them. They're sold out everywhere. Um, but anyway, um, so. Over on the, the paid subscription, I guess, over on my YouTube channel, there's, there's three different tiers. There's $4.99 a month, there's $9.99 a month, and $14.99 a month. The $4.99 gives you access to the 2020 NEC analysis series that we do. Um, and anything oh. higher than that is kind of like Hulu Plus, if you will. That is where you get access to all of the exclusive videos that we'll be coming out with. All right, so, and then everybody above that middle tier will get that. But the people that are on the $4.99 a month, again, I appreciate you. That is where we're going to do nothing but pure code, okay? Pure code, all right? So. Um, yeah, I had to go back through on them. Um, I think that's where Joe was talking about earlier in the chat that he's going through the 680 series. That's yeah, on the so, 99 a month. Yeah, so the, 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 that one, well, you, you're at the $14.99, so I mean, you get everything anyway. But you have to go. I did post a link up there for the members that takes you to all of the videos. So then you would just scroll down and you'll see the videos. You didn't. You haven't watched. You haven't watched that strong. series on six eighty yet. I've watched. I was. I was able to watch two of them. Okay. With, you and with Vince, me. With me and Vince. Yep. With you and okay, Vince. So the, what I'm. What I'm doing now is I'm going back into two ten. I think I'm on part four. So I'll watch a video down there, and then I'll kind of take one from the top, and I'll kind of. Uh, again, not not like the actual code top, but like you had a, a video on, I think it was bathrooms that you right. recently released. So I'll try to still keep up with what's going on that's fresh, but I'm also going back behind and trying to trying to play catch up. Because you up. have a lot of nuggets in there, man. And yep. you really have to be focused. And I'm running around with a one-year-old sometimes throughout the day. So that's what I love about. I am told many times that I put way too much crammed in a video that I go too quickly, but that's the beauty of pausing it, rewinding it, watching it again. And it's just my style and I can't help it. Oh, I like it. Um, So anyway, we want to do more of those. Uh, I'm excited about electrical blunders. 
Um, again, putting that together um, so that, again, I analyze uh, videos that are out there by DIYers and individuals like that who are spreading information. So, again, the goal is to be able to um, do that. So I'm going to have that. Um, also, we have an affiliate program that I'm hoping to expand in 2021. So for those that want to offer our courses or share our courses and, and help uh, make money in the process, so an affiliate program we're working on. Um, other people are aware that in 2021, we also want to hire up to four sales associates. <laughs> and those sales associates will be targeting medium and large contractors because we have what's called a full turnkey LMS package here at Electrical Code Academy. Whereas we offer a turnkey package of monitoring and reports for the employees. And, and so you buy the package for your staff, gets everybody on the same page. As they log in, we track everything. We send them uh, reports on their um, progress, what their scores are, things like that. Um, so again, uh, that's something we're excited about. And lastly, um, again, as if I have time to do all these things, <sighs> Fast Tracks Commentary Series. This is where you not only get the Fast Tracks, but I'm actually working on commentary for each one of the units. So not only do you get the units and you have to read it, but I am working on commentary that supports every unit. Okay, so that's going to be... I don't know when I'm going to have the time to do that, but... Uh, Brittany and him, that's what they have on the board and that's what they've committed me to or tried to commit me to. So we'll see if I hold to all these things. Yep. Um, I've got a good start on it. Um, again, I put out two eBooks pretty quickly. Um, the code change series is going to be something that's just a reboot. Hopefully I can get that done. Um, and then just a bunch of videos and training and of course making an electrician live something great yeah. for 2021. Like Joe, sleep is overrated. Yeah, I'll, someday yeah. I will, when I'm dead, I can rest. There you go. Martin, what's happening? Martin, Martin must be Code Strong. Code Strong in the house. Coach there strong, you go. Martin. I would. You, you've seen the Code Strong sticker, right? Yeah, I mean, last the muscle? I, checked, I, was, I thought I was on it. Oh, that was, that's right. Never I mean, mind. Okay. <laughs> Did I see it? I am code strong. I mean, come on, man. Like, all right. So, I mean, all in all, uh, Jay, for you guys out there and uh, and gals out there, I know there's guys and gals out there that watch. Um, 2021. Um, you know. Are you doing? Are you still doing personal tutoring? Yes, I do do tutoring as well. Um, and my system is automated, so when you go on and you book the tutoring, it, it actually looks at different times and available. You choose one, and if I'm not available, it'll tell you um, if I'm available for a certain time for tutoring. Uh, interesting thing about tutoring, I tell people, look, I don't like to just take people's money, okay? That's why I give training at a, a good price. That's why I try to answer as much questions as I can, although it's kind of changing in 2021. I can't be answering everything. But at the end of the day, oh, that makes me, let me remind you, uh, I got to tell you my story. Um, and we might run a few minutes over. I got to tell you that story. I tell you, it ticked me off. Anyway, so it, I would say it takes a lot to tick me off, but it really doesn't. Um, so at the end of the day, when you're tutoring, the best way to get the best benefit out of a tutor is to understand what you want out of a tutoring session. In other words, if you have trouble with ranges, that can eat up an hour. So easy. Yeah, so if that's your problem, book for ranges. Um, if you want to understand how to navigate the code, book for that. If you want to understand how to do a single family dwelling, book for that. If you want to know how to do the option method, book for that. So the best way to get something out of tutoring, there's plenty of tutors out there that will just take your money and you walk away. I know people that have spent $1,500 on a course and they got nothing out of it. I have a lot of students in the Fast Tracks program that got nothing out of it. The Fast Tracks program, you'll get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. You've got to put it in. You have to understand that when you see those chevrons, you got to look up the code. Okay? You have to understand that you, when you read it, if something doesn't make sense, you read it again. I am always here for you to bounce questions off of, of the reading material if there's something you don't understand. Okay? 
But again, when you're going to do tutoring, make sure you, uh, for your best value, that you come with a plan that you want to do tutoring. Now, let me talk to you about my recent issue. Now, many of you over on my Facebook page, Master the NEC Exam Prep, might have seen that I posted an image uh, from the NFPA handbook. And that NFPA handbook picture shows that pigtails in a junction box are not counted as box fill, okay? Equipment bonding jumpers are not counted as box fill, okay? Wire nuts, the wire bonding device, are not counted in box fill, okay? All right, simple. Sounds simple, right? Code even says mm -hmm. it, that when you're doing box fill, it's conductors that originate outside of the box. You don't count those that originate in the box. Pigtails originate in the box, okay? All right, so 314.16 and all that good stuff. All right, so anyway, I have a student who became a student who says, I have 50 years worth of experience. I really don't need your program, but I'm going to take it because I've been a journeyman saurus <laughs> for 50 years, and now he wants to be a master. So he takes the program. And remind you, he started giving donations. And I hadn't seen the guy for a year. So he makes donations to us, and that's great. We appreciate every donation. But I didn't, but, but what came with those donations were tons of questions. So basically, to circumvent my consulting fee, which is $125 for the actual tutoring, and not my consulting, because that's $250 an hour when I consult with engineers, but my tutoring is $125 an hour. So he gave me $50, and he proceeded to bombard me with questions and obscure off the wall questions. So I'm answering him, I'm answering him, and he's, he's disagreeing with me. And after 15 or 20 freaking emails, he finally goes, oh, you're right. I didn't read it all the way. Okay, I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't mind helping you. Then another set of questions. So then another donation comes in. Then I get another set of questions and everything. The <laughs> donations keep coming in. So finally he orders the Fast Tracks program. And he's in the Fast Tracks program, and he's not even past the second unit. And he starts sending me these things where he disagrees with the answers in his competency review. Now, I've been over these answers and these questions thoroughly. I didn't write the Fast Tracks program. I enhanced the Fast Tracks program. It's based on a book, and I took it and took it to another level by combining certain elements together in order to be able to provide a program. And we support that by answering the questions and giving you commentary and tips and what you got wrong and all this type of stuff. I'm a believer that you have to read it. You can't sit and watch DVDs all the time. You can't do all that and expect to pass an exam. You might get lucky, but again, watching stuff, and you have to immerse yourself in it. You need to do practice exams. You need to read the material so that you can comprehend it because the number one thing that people fail on an exam is because they can't understand reading comprehension. And, we're, and you're not alone if you have this problem. Yeah. Sometimes you can read something, and after you've read it, you're not even sure what the heck you just read. You're not alone. A lot of people have that. So I force you to read the material because that's the way to get that comprehension. Now, you use ballistic training, means you highlight it and let it read it to you, and you see the bouncing text, and you read it at the same time, is something about it that causes you to learn better, right? It causes you to get it, and that's why we do it this way. So anyway, I did this for him, and he proceeded to argue, argue, argue. So then the final straw was he sent me this email, and he says, your Boxville calculation is wrong, okay? And I'm like, it's a pretty basic Boxville calculation, to be honest with you. It was pretty darn basic. And he says that you're wrong, the fast tracks is wrong, because pigtails account for 2.25 cubic inch of volume because they were 12s. And I'm like, pigtails don't count. Yes, they do. You are wrong. This went on for no less than 10 or 15 emails, Jay. Even when <laughs> oh, I explained man. to him and I said, look, it says right in the code book, those that originate outside of the box or splice into the box, you, you count them. Okay. There's many rules that are involved here, right? Ultimately, I ended up saying, you know what? I usually don't give refunds, but for you, my friend, I'm giving a full refund and I refunded his money because he would have cost me more stress trying to teach you it. Look, here's the moral of the story. If you want to learn, you don't need me if you don't want to learn. If you think you know it all, 
And I don't. I learn something new every day. <laughs> but when it comes to exam prep, I've been doing this a long time. If I'm telling you pigtails don't count, trust me, they don't count. They don't count. So they, at the end of the day, so here's the deal. You lost being in the program. You're not in it anymore. You're now on your own. You're going to end up calling somebody like another educator and say, hey, don't pigtails count? And they're going to say no. And now you, you're a fool because you now lost access to what I like to think is a good training program. All because yeah. you just, it, okay. See that, Jay? <laughs> I'm letting it go. Okay. Hey, that's a good, good, good start to New Year. Joe, Joe donated, I think, 20 additional dollars. Joe! Yeah, he said, Paul, can you explain in layman's Oh, let me see. Let me scroll the up. Theory of relativity. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Where's my... And for that, Joe, I am not refunding your $20 donation, okay? <laughs> Shoot, Joe just made a CMECP. He just asked for a raise. Dude, I know, that's dude, right. I know. I know that's right. Dang, and then like. the, wife, the wife, $20, have to support Paul Abernathy. Of course we are. <laughs> We're on the Paul Abernathy train. So anyway, that. so I hate to look. I help literally thousands of people a year. This guy got under my skin, and it started so early. He wasn't even past the second unit in the program. And in the first unit, he argued again. And I showed him where he was wrong, and he ultimately said, oh, my bad. I didn't read it all. Don't argue with your instructor unless you've done all your research. I love a good debate, but you're not going to win in a program that was created to teach people the right. National Electrical Code. And so you suffered. You got nothing out of it. You got nothing. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I got to get relaxed with that. But again, I, I thought that was a good example. Look, here's the moral of the story. If you reach out to somebody to help you, listen to what they have to say. It's okay to disagree with them. But when you're going to get into an argument, make sure you've done your research first. Right? I'm just saying. Make sure you've done your research first because, again, it's not going to end well for you. You know, all right. What are people uh, saying? I'm not well, saying who, so, says, who says he's going to burn down. Yeah, he is because he's not that far away from me. He's not in Texas, but he's not far away. <laughs> so he might. But that's all right, because everybody knows that the Abernathy compound is heavily fortified. I've kind of told you a little bit about how my compound is fortified here in Texas. Let's just say I don't have a problem with firepower. Let's just say that I love my guns. All right. That's so, awesome. Anyway, George when, says uh, he's probably still a helper. We call them career helpers. Well, George, let me give you another uh, reference uh, that we call uh, those guys. And I've had plenty of them, whether <laughs> I've worked beside them, I've actually worked under them, and I now I refuse to hire them. And I'm sorry if anybody out there is, but we call those guys apprentices. Yeah. You've been in the trade for 10 years or more, and you haven't decided to get that license. Now you get the label of Apprentosaurus. Don't we have an episode coming up with that? Uh, I, I believe so. I think it's, uh, is it next week's or the following week's? Someone sure. go on Electrician Live. ElectricianLive.com and, um, and see what next week's show is all about because I think that might be the Apprentosaurus show. I think that's show. the one. Oh, might look be. at my puppy. See my puppy? That's I zombie. I see a puppy. That's puppy my, dog. That's my dowel. Great. You know what? Zombie goes on every job walk I go to. Every job walk I go to. So I have one of those hair because I, I wear... Nice clothes. I like to wear my, I, I call them change what is it? order clothes. No, what is, what, is, what is the brand you like to wear? Oh, oh, the brand. Hold on, let me read it real quick. Um, oh, that's right. That's Carhartt, baby. <sighs> oh, yeah. Milwaukee and Carhartt. Carhartt. And so I wear, I wear, to... oops, I <laughs> wear, I, I wear uh, uh, Electrician Pride that's wear right. over at electricianpride.com. <laughs> Look at Elwood put a. Put a dinosaur. Apprentosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That is so, you got, are you going to make a sticker of that? Are you making oh, a sticker of the should I come, Is everybody, what do you think? Let's do a poll real oh, quick. Man, let's have, have, let's have to do it. type in why for all those that are listening. If you think that I should do a sticker for Apprentosaurus and make something funny about it for Apprentosaurus. Oh, you know? Oh man! Woo, Nick, another twenty. My goodness, Good Nick gracious. and Joe. 
the generosity. Of the 20s. We got Nick generosity. and uh, Caleb. Why, why? Hey, guys that are donating, do me a favor. Don't assume that I know your addresses. Look, I want to send you thank yous, okay? Uh, because, again, it means a lot when you do. And so, look, do, do me a favor. Do Email me your address. Drop the hundo. Please. George, I dare you to drop the hundo. <laughs> George, come on now. <laughs> I, look, I have flashlights. You know, let me tell you where these are neat. When I'm working on a panel, these things are magnet. They will stick right, right, to, the, right. to the side of the panel. For giving you light in the panel. There you go, Jay. I'm giving you some tips here. So this will actually light up in a panel. If you're working electric, you put it right there next to the panel. Oh, sure. Right on the side. Well, Magnetic. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, want one of these for guys that are um, things like that. Um, let's see. What else do I have? What do I got, Jay? Oh, I got these flashlights. These neat yep. little flashlights. You got the have flashlights. You... Yep. Have I sent you these? I do not have one of those. I have the neuralizer oh, these are get and, and... I'll send you uh, those. I'll send and you those. Guy. And we have the little screwdriver, which I almost use on a daily basis. Yeah, um, I like that one. I have that it's one got too. eight of them in there, and I use them for my glasses and other little things. So it's just neat to have in, yep. in the pocket. Look, you guys that are donating, email me and uh, give me your address so I can get these out to you. Joe did confirm that the Apprentice Source episode is next week. So... Okay, guys. This there is you go. this is my this is my calling out to whoever's out there that may have been a Prentosaurus or may know of one. Give us a call. Call in. Call in next week and let's hear your story. I want to. Yeah. Can I, I get the phone lines you. working? Can I get the phone lines working for next week? Oh, I hope so because I would love to hear these guys' stories. I kid you not. There's nothing worse than a guy. Wait a minute, Jay. Crazy. You could have one of our you could have one of our watchers and listeners. Who's an apprentisaurus? So we're no, going to no, motivate no, 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 no. you. No, but we're going to motivate you next week. Yeah, we are. We're going to yeah, motivate you to move on and achieve those 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 goals. Those that little the, piece of paper. Hold on. That little piece here. of paper. That little. Let me see here. Let me see here. What, what piece of what oh, piece of paper minute. are we talking? Are we talking about this piece of? Oh no, no not that no, one. We're not I'm talking sorry. About my that. piece of paper makes this paper. I make it rain on them. Uh. Uh, make it right. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. 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 Uh, so settle. simmer down. <laughs> I think you mean, I think you mean these things like in Texas, there's my TDLR. There's my licenses. Yeah. These ones right here. There's my contractors and there my masks. What else? Hold on. I got other ones in here. I got another, I got other ones in here. Hold They're on. All ones. <laughs> They're all ones. I got another one here. What else do we got? <laughs> Bet Jay won't drop it. <laughs> drop it. Lord knows they're all counterfeit. <laughs> I'll but... drop it. I'll drop it down low. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here's my master license in Texas for those that say Paul ain't licensed. There you go. Um, in my dabbing Virginia... on them. Oh, that's right. Jose, I'm dabbing on them. Anyway, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna talk Apprentisaurus next week. I know. Look, George said show the guns. We just talked about that, didn't we, Jay? I said that I wanted to do an episode where I show my guns. Would that be awesome? Would that be awesome for an Electrician Live episode? Um, I also yeah. do. Oh, my license? Oh, absolutely, George. Hold on. I love George already. Yeah, Let me George show you. Good, let me show you. Hold on. Because George is, George is my boy here. So let me show you. Here you go. Jo oh, crap. Oh. Here you go, George. There's my license to carry. And also, you'll notice what it says here at the top. It says instructor. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Homie, don't play. All right. So, anyway, I love. Homie, don't play that. Homie, don't that. play that. When I go shooting, man, I go shooting. I am definitely one of those Texas rednecks. I ain't lying. Oh, man. We went out today. We had a blast, man. My buddy had this uh, Mossberg shotgun. Man, we, uh, we, we blew some holes in the. In, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, George wants to see one right now, so talk to everybody about yeah, what we did. Yeah, I, I'll show you it. one gun, George. You ready? Hold on. Yeah, so we, we Go on. Tell everybody buddy, about your, has, uh, your shooting episode. He has about 40, 40 acres of, of land, my buddy Paul from, from church. And um, I brought my nine, um, my Springfield. Um, he has a couple 22s. Um, he had a twenty two rifle and then... Uh, he had a nine two, and my buddy Chris brought out his 
is nice. We kind of all had nine. The hard thing is to find ammo nowadays. Because I called all the stores. I had about 70 rounds, uh, just training rounds. But um, I was calling all the stores, and none of them had ammo. They won't even have ammo until next week, they said. So took what I had. And uh, my buddy Pat, he always has ammo. And again, we were shooting the 22, so we were filling those up left and right. Um, but yeah, it was a good day, man. Good day to shoot some guns. Good day All to right. start off. Empty. So you see there's nothing there. This is my Smith & Wesson 357. Nice. All cleaned and oiled up. Okay, so there you go. So I love my 357 Magnum. Okay, got that. Also shoot 38 specials through this. Again, it's a little cheaper, right? Yes, it will. It definitely will do that, George. Um, but I love it, and God, you wouldn't be surprised how accurate this thing is. Or maybe it's just the shooter. It's probably the shooter. All right. But no Texas would be complete. No Texan would be complete without their, their AR-15. And, say. of course, Electrician Live has my AR-15 with my adjustable. Okay. We love our guns here in Texas. So I've got my nice scope on it. Everything, again, just so y'all know. That looks identical to the one that I use in Call of Duty. Oh, is it? Yeah, man, I, I rip it at Call of Duty. My son's a little better than I am, but that's that's a mean AR, man. So there you go, everything. Okay, so again, I have no magazine in it. Okay, so everything's good. I like on the side of mine. On the side of it says right here, it says, don't mess with Texas. Oh, nice. My switch. <laughs> and, and on the side here, it has the engraved a Texas flag right there. Okay. So again, trust me, I don't keep a magazine very far away. And I have speed loaders for this. So trust me. Okay. And, of course, what else do I have, Jay? I told you. I have uh, 1911s. Um, I have a chrome mm -hmm. one, and I have a Remington Enhanced R1 uh, 1911. Love that thing. Boy, talk about grouping. Uh, well, how do we get on this topic, Jay? I'm losing viewers on this topic. Um, people that, you know, that are, that are scared of guns. Uh, what else did I have? I have Ruger's. Um, Ruger. No, I don't have a grenade launcher. God, I wish. Um, uh, what else do I have over there? Uh, I have some Remington shotguns. <laughs> what else do I have? I have a unique uh, Neat 410 22, which is an over under. That is a rare rifle that was passed down from my granddad to my dad to me. Uh, and again, all this is in a safe. And of course, I have a heavily fortified Abernathy compound with a full alarm system. And I do not shoot to warn. Okay. Just saying. Um, what else do I got over there? I've got some, I got a, 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 I'm a big Glock guy, so I like Glocks too. So I mm -hmm. have Glock 43, which is my personal carry. Um, I have a Glock 19, Glock 17. I have, what else do I got in there? I don't remember. I got all kinds of stuff in there. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for the guns. I definitely know you lost a wife on that one. She, she went out and she shot probably the first five or ten minutes, and then she said, yeah, I'm done. She really? tried, though. Yeah, she she's not a big shooter. She she'd rather be. Yeah, you don't have to be a big shooter, but you, you need to they need to know how to shoot. Okay. Yeah, and and that's what she did for the first ten minutes. Uh, my <laughs> buddy Pat showed her. Put it away. Put but, it away. <laughs> put it away. Put that it away. Thing away, ball. Put it away. So anyway, away. we've now moved from electrician live to gun talk with Paul and Jay. <laughs> so anyway, we love our guns. So that's you know that's our things for our New Year's. I mean that's that's what they're excited about. That's what we're gonna get done in the New Year. Um, yeah, I'm hopefully actually, all I'm, of us do that. I'm actually gonna. I, I don't know. I heard there's another for business owners out there. I heard there's another round of the PPP loans that possibly go get a hold of your um, <laughs> banker, whoever does your um, banking, and see if you mm -hmm. can get that because that's. Some of that's free money, and then some of that's money that they'll allow you to keep up with, like, your payroll and, and everything else. Um, and another one of my goals is to increase all my lines of credit. I want to try to increase them now and, 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 and try to max out. 
There and then that way I have a little bit more of a cushion. Uh, oh. Surprisingly enough, I was telling you guys about that addition. We actually went in and we applied for a personal loan and we got up to $30,000 for uh, a loan from Home Depot, 30 k So that will help us awesome. fund you know, any of the material, whether it's the, the lumber, Absolutely. the drywall, whatever for the guys if they need it. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool, man. It's pretty awesome to know if you have Now, did credit. you say that you wanted to do more service work in well, and, 2021? Because I was thinking so, if, if it's, if you've got a loan from Home Depot, can you go buy material from Home Depot and then get credit towards that program they have where you get the points? Because think about that, using their money, buy the stuff, and yeah. when you buy stuff, you get the points. The points are what you use to get work, and you can use that for service work or, or you know, hanging fans and just little things. Maybe you don't want the little things, but again, that's what people use that Home Depot uh, points account type of thing. Uh, I don't know oh. if that would work. That, that I actually might. I don't know either. I don't know. But I would I'd like to get in service. I don't know if it's going to be this year, but I'd like to look forward to that. I think that's going to be the next, next, uh, I guess, step on the ladder for Wired Up to expand, other mm -hmm. than just hiring more helpers with the, um, with the leaders that we have now to take on more projects. I still right. think we're going to focus on the residential, um, whether it's basements, new construction, or remodel. But after that, that next step, probably by the end of the year, I'll be looking forward to hopefully 2020 having a service. Um, 2022. Or 2022, yeah. Not 2020. 2020. That crap is gone. That's gone, yeah. What am I talking okay. about? That crap is gone. So back to the <sighs> back to the polls. It looks like you got a bunch of whys as far as the... Um, Apprentisaurus sticker? The Apprentisaurus sticker. And Tim, what's up, Tim? I know Tim just came in, but I'm pretty sure he wants to see that. See, my, well. chat is, my chat is delayed, so I can't see everybody's chat. So yep, um, Tim, Tim's joining us. Um, welcome, Tim. Thank you for joining. Welcome, Tim. LLC yeah. is the way to go with the question mark. Um, limited liability... Um, I, I'm a I'm a class I'm a class C corporation. Um, hey, there you go. I see Tim. Never enough. Never enough guns. I assume that's what Tim means. Never enough guns. Um, I'm a class C corporation because is it, there a level of protection that's in, enhanced with that? But you you can get that also for the limited liability corporation. Again, obviously, it's limiting your exposure uh, as well. So different different strokes for different folks. Uh, Ask people. I can tell you the for me the, the the advantages of being a corporation, but of course I don't want to get double taxation. So I am a a a, a um, chapter S corp. Okay, yep, so that's, it's a that's what it's we are a, too. it's a pass through. So chapter S corporation again, the companies do well, then it passes through to me, and of course it just gets bumped in as payroll. I mean, that's how you do it, and you pay the taxes on it. Um, so there's benefits to that, okay? Um, so, again, I'm not overly familiar with LLCs, so I, I couldn't give much insight on LLCs. Uh, but I do have a lot of, you know, knowledge on uh, Chapter S Corps and things like that, okay? Um, if you go with the standard C Corp, you're going to get double taxed, so you got to be careful with that. You don't want to pay twice. I don't want to give Uncle Sam any more than I got to. That's right. right. I'll, give my, I'll give my piece, but I'm not giving any more than I have to. Okay? Um, yeah, she says do S Corp. Because we, we did the, uh, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Psalms 23, 49.99. Man, these guys are, there. obviously, we may have lost a couple, but we gained a good one. So Psalms got? 23 donated 49.99. My goodness, we are starting the new year off right. Psalms? I don't even see him in the chat. I guess he hasn't said anything. No, he hasn't said anything. So Psalms. Thank you. You're gonna again, I can the, the podcast will go on for another month or two. Again, right. we'll keep it going. We appreciate it. Okay. Definitely. Well, Jay, I don't know anything else we can wrap up unless anybody wants to see. Cowboy Paul, you know what I'm saying? Anybody wants to see more of my guns? 
No, I'm not going to do any more show guns Show the tonight. guns. Show the no guns. No more guns. No more guns tonight. Um, now, my, uh, my Glock 43 is up in the safe beside my bed. It's a nightstand. So I have one of those uh, touch safes where my, when my fingers hit it, then, okay, show it's clear. We have those people out there that freak out about gu loaded guns. Okay, show that it's clear. Mm. Okay, clear it, clear yeah. it. Clear we don't it. want those. To be, there you Let go. It's clear. all clear. No magazines in it. My safety's you know. on the back, so I mean, there you I'm go. Everything's big. clear. You but know. this is our XD9 right here. This is my Springfield XD9 Mod 2. Nice. Um, nice yeah, gun. it's super, super smooth gun. Fits is that, in a, it. Is that mean, a nine or forty? No, it's 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 a nine. Okay. It's an XD9. Um, it's a four point okay. My buddy. The one I was telling you about, Pat, he does have the 40, but this is the XD9, um, the grip zone that it comes with, man. It is. It's does that really, come with really the three nice. different back uh, back straps on it? This this kind of there's one of those from them that come with three different, so you can adjust it for your hand. It comes with different ones that you can put on there. Is that 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 mine, one? Not mine it? did not come with it. I'm pretty sure you could probably add them to them, but they did not okay. come with the actual. Just the, okay, it so came with normal, the normal contour on the firearm back and the, okay. and the two uh, magazines. So there you go. Hey, you know what? I love the fact that Jay says magazines like I say magazines because you know what? I was worried that somebody would come in and say, "Yo, I got a clip." <laughs> oh, you want to see my? You want to see my my clip, bruh? You want to <laughs> see my clip? No, I'm just, no. <laughs> get out of here. What's a clip? It's a magazine. <laughs> All right. Anyway. My, 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 my wife goes, does that guy have a clip? <laughs> I was like, baby, you grew up with me. You've been around me for 30 plus years. It's a magazine. Oh, a magazine. Okay. So it's like, it's like Romex. Oh, I mean, NMB. Oh, uh, you know, you, you have to end a show with that. Really? <laughs> Non-metallic sheath cable folks. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of that for tonight. Hey, we appreciate everybody as always joining us for the show. Hopefully you got something out of it. It's a relaxed show. This is why we do Electrician Live. It doesn't always have to be so code technical, but I think, Jay, in the next three or four episodes, we're going to get kind of cozy again. I think we're going to talk about identifying grounded conductors. That's one of our topics I think we're going to be oh. talking about. Um, and I can't remember. So that means what do you folks need to do? You need to go to electricianlive.com, and there you will see rebroadcasts of the show as well as upcoming episodes. So make sure you bookmark it, electricianlive.com. Share it on all social media platforms. Let other electricians know. Let's have it grow organically, and we appreciate everybody here. So without anything else, Jay, do you have anything else you want to add? Are we about ready to, to, to no, lock this thing up it. for the night? Jared, I think Jared just jumped in. Hey, Jared. Way to jump in at the end of the night. Um, well, that's it, man. I'm excited to talk about Apprentice Sources next week. Oh, yeah. And we're going to take you from Apprentisaurus to Supertrition. Because I got a sticker for that, too. Supertrition sticker. Okay? Right. Over on electricianpride.com. Had to get one more plug in there before it's over. Again, everybody, till next time, stay safe. God bless. And uh, do me a favor. Pray for this country because we're going to need every bit of it moving forward. Till next time, take care. You're listening to Electrician Live with your host, Paul Abernathy and Jay Brunberg.